Forwards in football, the responsibility of scoring goals. Their advanced position and limited defensive responsibilities means forwards normally score more goals on behalf of their team than any other players. Whether that's being a striker or a winger, and throughout the years we've seen the very best forwards, the likes of Pele, Thierry Henry, Ronaldo, Diego Maradona, Alan Shearer, Didier Drogba, Ruud van Nisseroy, Alessandro Del Piero, Francesco Totti, just to name a few. And in today's football, in my opinion, we are seeing the very best forwards ever play right now and today I'll be ranking the 10 best forwards in the world. If you do go on to enjoy today's video make sure you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel and make sure to click on that bell button so you can be a part of the notification squad. Number 10 Sergio Aguero. Manchester City's Sergio Aguero is one of the best strikers in the world today. Manchester City are known as a team to go out and spend lots of money on players. They are one of the richest clubs in the world and Sergio Aguero when he did join the club made an immediate impact. He's proven himself in the Premier League that iconic goal that he did score to win Manchester City the Premier League title. Number 9 Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard primarily plays as a winger, but he can also play as an attacking midfielder. He's possibly the most outstanding talent in Europe right now. His development into one of the world's best players was highlighted during the 2014-15 season. During that season, he won multiple awards and also helping Chelsea win the Premier League trophy. And he also received praise from pundits and managers all around the world. Number eight. Paulo Dybala. Dybala has shown some incredible ability and potential for a young player and he could easily be the best player in the world in about three to four years. Dybala is an incredible talent making a goal scoring opportunity out of practically nothing and could almost win a game off his own boot. His passion, drive, hunger and ambition has made him a fan favourite at Juventus and it looks like he could be their new hero. Number seven. Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale has developed into one of the most dangerous left wingers in the world. He's known for his physical fitness, pace, skill, heading ability, stamina and agility with the capacity to regularly get past defenders due to his acceleration. Possessing good technique, ball control, Bale has become a main part of Real Madrid starting 11. With Real Madrid, he's gone on to win La Liga titles, multiple Champions League titles and it was an incredible season for Gareth Bale during the 2016-17 season with Real Madrid. Number 6 Robert Lewandowski. The Polish star Robert Lewandowski is one of the most accurate and efficient strikers in the world today. Lewandowski has height, strength, balance, pace, intelligent movement and proficiency with both feet which makes him one of the very best. Although he primarily operates as a goal poacher in the penalty area, Due to his positional sense, ability to shoot first time and strength in the air, his excellent technique skills, quick feet, vision and physique also enables him to hold up the ball with his back to goal and either bring his teammates into the play or win fouls for his team Bayern Munich. And on the 11th of March 2017, Lewandowski reached 100 goals for Bayern Munich in only his 137th appearance for the club. Number 5. Antoine Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann is one of the most versatile players in the world. He can line up as a pure striker, drop back into an attacking midfield role, or even play out on the wing. It really doesn't matter because every time Antoine Griezmann is out on the pitch, he makes an impact. In three seasons with Atletico Madrid, Griezmann has scored 83 goals in 160 total appearances in all competitions. During the 2015-16 campaign, during which he found the back of the net 32 times in 54 appearances for the club and was one of the driving force to send Atletico Madrid into the Champions League final, but sadly they couldn't get the job done and they became runners up. He finished third in the voting for the FIFA Ballon d'Or in 2016, was named La Liga's best player, was named UEFA Team of the Year and was on the Champions League Team of the Season. He was again on the Champions League Team of the Season in 2017. Number 4 Luis Suarez. In three seasons at FC Barcelona, Suarez has scored 121 goals in 147 matches. He had a brilliant 2015-16 campaign during which he scored 40 goals in 35 La Liga contests and 59 goals in 53 appearances for the club. How can you get better than that? There's no denying what Suarez can do out on the field. The 30-year-old has an unbelievable feel for the game and can create scoring chances from virtually nothing. That's why he's been so successful throughout his career. 
Austria winning the Premier League Golden Boot and being named the PFA Footballer of the Year in 2014. He's been a part of the Champions League team this season twice and the FIFA Pro World 11 in 2016. Suarez is Uruguay's all-time leading scorer and is one of the best strikers in the world. Number three. Neymar. Neymar is the most expensive transfer ever in football. Neymar broke the record when he did join PSG. He's unmatched with the ball at his feet. An absolute wizard with individual skill and dribbling. It is truly amazing to watch Neymar play. And only after a few games in the league on for PSG, Neymar is already dominating the French league. Neymar really showed his talent at Barcelona with the MSN partnership Messi, Neymar and Suarez. In 2015, Neymar finished third in the FIFA Ballon d'Or voting and was fifth in 2016. One day will we see Neymar win the FIFA Ballon d'Or? That day is possibly going to come in the near future. But he has already experienced so much success in his young career and he has so many years to go. Number two, Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi is firmly in the conversation as the greatest footballer of all time. Messi has gone on to conquer literally everything with Barcelona. He's won a total of 29 trophies during his 13 seasons at the club, including eight La Liga championships, four Champions League crowns. He's won the Ballon d'Or five times and has a record tying four European golden shoes. His numbers are incredible when it comes to scoring goals, assists, and he has gone on to score 91 goals in a calendar year. The only thing Messi has not conquered at all throughout his career is the FIFA World Cup. He almost did it in 2014 when Argentina did lose to Germany. Messi will go down as one of the very best of all time. He's an incredible finisher and sometimes sets up teammates in some incredible positions. He's versatile as an attacking player and we've seen throughout his career that he can play a number of roles thanks to his pace and creativity. During his career, he's played as a classic winger, a center forward, a true central midfielder and an attacking midfielder. Messi can literally do it all. And number one, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now the biggest debate in football is who is better, Messi or Ronaldo? Cristiano Ronaldo has topped this list. He's won the FIFA Ballon d'Or a total of four times. And the latest Ballon d'Or was won by Cristiano Ronaldo in 2016. He's been a part of the FIFA Pro World 11 in 10 consecutive seasons. He's led Real Madrid to two La Liga titles, two Copa del Rey wins, three Champions League trophies. He's also captained Portugal's run to the title in Euro 2016, though he departed the final against France just 25 minutes in after suffering an injury to make sure Portugal went on to win the UEFA Euro. He's also conquered England with Manchester United winning the Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup, just to name a few. Ronaldo's numbers are incredible. In 394 total matches over eight seasons at Real, he scored 406 goals. Ronaldo had an incredible 2016-17 season with Real Madrid. Real Madrid went on to win the FIFA for Club World Cup, La Liga Trophy, Champions League, Spanish Cup. And after 15 professional seasons at the top, he's still as dangerous as ever with the ball. Ronaldo has scored 622 goals for club and country, which currently ranks sixth of all time. And Cristiano Ronaldo today is the best player in the world. And that is the 10 best forwards in the world today. Let me know down below Ronaldo or Messi. In my honest opinion, Ronaldo had a better 2016-17 season. That is why I've ranked him over Messi for this list. But you guys can let me know down below in the comments what is your top 10. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and I'll see you all on my next video.